PXC 50 will be a landmark show in the history of Guam Mixed Martial Arts. PXC celebrates its 50th show with one of the most stacked fight cards the island has ever seen. One of the best Chamorro fighters in the world to date, Frank the Crank Camacho returns to the PXC cage after adding yet another knockout finish to his long and storied career. I see myself with my hands raised. I'm determined to win this fight. I, I need that title, man. I need, I need that championship. There's no man that's invulnerable. Everyone's vulnerable. There's no Superman. You know what I mean? Everyone's human here. A lot of people look at me as an underdog in this fight. Watch out, the underdogs bite hard. For Tyrone Jones to clear out his division, having a two-fight win streak, and for me to take someone like that easily, it would be stupid of me. I know he's definitely a tough opponent. Uh, I just gotta go out there and just be smarter than him. His opponent, Tyrone Jones, is one of Guam's most veteran homegrown fighters who earned a title shot after two dominating finishes. This fight is the biggest fight of my career. Frank Camacho, he has a really good record. He's been in the game for a very long time. A win over him would put me on the map. Both will meet on December 4th to determine Pacific Extreme Combat's new lightweight champion. PXC 50 will be the culmination of over 10 years of hard work in the sport, beginning as a passion project and evolving into one of the most prestigious mixed martial arts promotions in the Asia Pacific region. We started this company up uh, in the love of martial arts. MMA was just growing and it was growing very fast. There was a lot of fighters at the time. Everyone wanted to create a name for themselves. MMA is the fastest growing sport in the world today. It's one of the most popular sports in the Pacific, and PXC has been uh, riding that wave for almost a decade now. The card also includes a co-main event featuring Yusuke Yache defending his featherweight belt for the first time against the Australian Hulk, Alex Volkanovsky. And matchups between the best fighters in the region. This is PXC 50. With a resume that speaks for itself, Frank the Crank Camacho is one of the best Chamorro fighters in the world to date. However, his killer mindset and high level polished skill set belie his humble beginnings. I was never really the athletic kid. I was really uh, kind of your normal kid from Saipan. I was going into high school, I was kind of a little heavy. I wanted, you know, I wanted to, you know, get in shape. I hated running. I love martial arts, so I, I found a gym and started training. The first, the first MMA gym that I ever trained at was Trench Tech Purebred Saipan. They taught martial arts, but it was, it was a bunch of guys getting ready for fight. That's where I met uh, Cookie Alvarez. You know, this mild-mannered, young, kind of a little bit chubby at the time kid. He was 15 years old. You know, just your local boy walked into our gym. He came in. Um, to our gym and he just, you know, he said, hey, is this a, I heard that you guys do MMA, I want to learn. And he had that aura um, that I just kind of knew he was, a, he was somebody special. I just started training, just following their program and just getting beaten up every day and just coming back and then just kind of figuring it out that, that man, this is like, I just got to come back and I got to learn. Frank would then go on an epic journey to the States, where he spent years training with elite level coaches and competition like BJJ prodigy Keenan Cornelius and UFC veterans Dominic Cruz and Brandon Vera, eventually returning to Guam in 2013. Coming back to Guam, you know, this is, man, this is, uh, this is like the mecca of fighting, you know, and, and, and it, I just want people to know that, like, like here on Guam, you go to the fights at PXC, man, the, the crowd, dude, the crowd's awesome, man, you know, you, you have 2,000, 3,000 people just yelling and, and, and you know, this is where also I came from, you know, so it's a, I have home crowd advantage and it's, it's, it's amazing, you know, there's nothing better than fighting in front of your home crowd, you know. Since returning to Guam and the PXC, Camacho went on a tear, getting back-to-back -back wins over some of the best fighters in Japan. The Crank looked unstoppable until he faced off against Yusuke Kasuya at PXC 47, losing via rear naked choke just moments after dominating Kasuya in the stand-up exchanges. I'm only human too, you know what I mean? And uh, yeah, this is still the path that I want to take, you know, you, you question yourself all the time, like, man. Should I do this? Should I do that? Man, it's fighting really for me, you know? And the thing that I learned most about that loss was never ever fight with emotion. And because when you do, when you make irrational decisions, you know, you're not, you're not rational. You're not thinking properly. You, you, whether you're, some people fight good angry. Some people fight good sad or fight, some people fight good. I don't know what it is, but, but for me as a, as a, as a martial artist and as a competitor, I have to be 
Like, have to have no emotion. Just go in there with the game plan and execute it. Camacho would do just that. And at PXC 49, he came back stronger than ever, defeating Japanese veteran Kengo Ura via knockout in just 37 seconds. It, it kind of put the stamp on it like, man, Frank, just keep focus on your goal and, and focus on what you need to do and what you need to accomplish in this sport with, uh, with to the best of your ability, you know? And man, knocking him out in under, under a minute in like 40 seconds, I think was, it, it, it really painted a good picture of, of, of game planning and really learning from your loss and implementing, implementing and solving the problem from before. Now, Frank has his first shot at the PXC world title and the opportunity to catapult himself into the highest levels of MMA. I'm determined to win this fight and I see myself with my hands raised. You know, I, I need that title, man. I need, I need that championship. That title and that belt is gonna get me closer to where I need to be in, in my career. Ever since his PXC debut in 2013, Tyrone Jones has been one of the hungriest, fastest growing fighters on Guam to date. With an almost unprecedented eight fights in the PXC, no one can question Jones's passion for the sport. A resident of Guam for over a decade, Jones has come to love his new home and is as local as they come. I moved to Guam when I was 16. I was born in New Orleans, Louisiana. My mother died. Uh, we moved to Guam to stay with my uncle that was stationed in the Navy at the time. The first year I was in Guam, I didn't like it at all. I went to school, I was like the only black guy there, you know, like I felt like a minority, so I wanted to go home, but then later, started to open up and I uh, started to get to know friends and the hospitality of the Chamorro and local people, and I fell in love with the island. Uh, I got into fighting thanks to my little brother. <laughs> he was actually fighting before me and doing jiu-jitsu before me. Uh, I used to always kick his butt, so I realized if he's kicking people's butt in the cage, I can do the same thing. One of the island's best homegrown fighters, Jones has reached the upper echelon of PXC solely through his training on Guam. I started out as a nobody, really, you know. Uh, I came a long way. I worked, worked hard to get where I'm at. All his fight camps have been on Guam. He's never left the island to get any training in. He's a homegrown fighter, man. Bred here, trained here from the ground up. While one of Guam's elite fighters, Jones wasn't always as successful in the cage as he is now, having a rocky start to his pro career, alternating between dominant wins and losses for years. But the way I look at it, you know, like uh, every loss that I had made me improve. Losses are good for motivation because it gets you back in the gym the next day. You know, you're so fired up that you lost, you're back in the gym the following day. You learn where you're weak at, you learn where you're strong at, you learn what, what to do, what not to do, and you just have to progress from there. The, the, the sport only gets better and better. It's like you can never maintain, you know, like there's always someone that's going to be better than you. He has grown as a fighter tremendously in the last, what, four years, five years. Ty's hands are good. He's a, he's a great counterfighter. His wrestling is really good too, and people underestimate his jits. So he's all around good, um, but he continues to develop, you know, even when he has a big win, he's pointing out holes in his game that he needs to work on, and he's in the gym right away. But after years of blood, sweat, and tears, Tyrone's determination has resulted in the first win streak of his career with two back-to-back -back dominating finishes in one of the most stacked divisions in the PXC. Now, Jones is in for the biggest fight of his career as he faces off against the crank Frank Camacho for the PXC lightweight title, a fight that he is dedicating to his newborn baby girl. Me and my girlfriend just had a beautiful baby daughter. Her name's I, and that's my future. Right now I'm fighting for her. Everything is not about me anymore, it's all about her. Me and my girlfriend, were uh, actually both not from Guam, but uh, we love the island, you know? We both come from cities. She's from Tokyo, I'm from New Orleans, you know? They're both big cities, you know, very loud, everything. Guam's just such a chill place, you know, like very relaxed. So that's why we decided to just stay here. Uh, my family means everything to me. They're my number one motivation, you know. Without family, what is there to fight for, you know? Having my team and my family support me helps me so much, you know, like for a lot of people to believe in me and things like this, a lot of local people believe in me, that actually means a lot to me. Even though I'm not local, you know, they, they see the potential that I have. So I really believe in this. MMA is a very explosive sport, you know, anything can happen at any moment, you know, like all it takes is one punch, you can be winning a fight and then you can get hit and then it's over, you know what I mean, like anything can happen, so it's going to be a good fight, uh, expect uh, some fireworks from both of us.